Hello and welcome everyone to another tutorial episode. I believe this is our fifth one. Um, yeah, I'm looking at knocking out a lot of these tutorials. Um, so let's get going because I only have 15 minutes. So let's knock this guy out of the way. Um, it will make it easier later when we do our burns and our maneuvering if we can just get this out of the way for right now. Um, yeah, you don't want to... You know, I don't want to pull all my thrust on the on the ship or something like that. I know that they'll degrade over time, but uh, I'd rather just get out of the way now. So, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the maneuvering node, and we are going to be doing a moon burn in this episode. And I will be uploading the orbiting of the moon in the next episode. So, let's get started on that. The maneuvering node itself is not... It's pretty self-explanatory for the most part um you know you got your prograde and retrograde which you guys should know by now if you know how to do an orbit you know what prograde and retrograde will do to your orbit um this blue right here if you guys want to know what that does now that will shift your orbit from side to side so like if i wanted to do it right here it would shift my orbit around so my orbit would change here and it would change here but you're not really you're, you're gaining altitude on one side and losing it on the other so i don't want to do that um now when it comes down to your the the pink or purple or whatever you know whatever color this is um you know i I'd, i guess it's more of a purple this is shifting your orbit from side to side to increase your heart height or, you know, if you're trying to dock with something, or um, increase it or decrease it. So, you know, if you look, if you move it all the way down, it will change your orbit to where you'll have more of a, you know, this side will be higher and this side will be lower, in, in a sense. And that's, that's, you know, if you want to make like an elliptical orbit, or, I mean, not an elliptical, but um, if you want to make a, a polar orbit. You know, you can you can set up a polar orbit that way if you wanted to. I suggest if you're gonna if you want to do a polar orbit, but you can see it also increases the uh, apolapsis very much. Um, I suggest if you want to do like a polar style orbit where you're gonna go from here all the way down to here, and then you're gonna circle around, basically going this way. Um, I suggest doing that off the launch pad. That, that's pretty much the best way you're going to be doing something like that. And those are good if you want to launch satellites. I know satellites don't really serve much of a function in this game, but I will be launching a lot of those, and I'll put them on... Uh, I'll, I'll do it on video for you guys so you guys can see that. And I'm going to do that just basically for fun. You know, I'm going to set up some communication satellites because, you know, you need one on the moon and you need one on Kerbin. That way, there is no delay in, you know, when moon base Alpha goes on the dark side, they won't have that three or five or ten minute delay or however long they're on the dark side for. So, you know, you always have to have communications with a moon base, a, a ground, you know, a something crazy could happen you know the whole place could explode so um they need to launch those uh you know the uh the rescue missions so when it comes down to doing a moon burn uh your best bet is like you know if you see the moon right here in a sense your best bet is to aim for like right in here because by the time your ship will reach this spot your the moon will be in this general area it, it will show you that so to set up your moon burn you want to go all the way out to about 830 anywhere between 830 and 860 meters per second to to um briefly explain that as well that's adding 849.1 meters per second to your total um your total velocity here so you'll be going that much faster and you need that speed to escape kerbin's uh influence 
so as you can see I you know this isn't good but then if you click on the center of the maneuver node you can adjust it so you don't need to re keep resetting it now like I said setting up an orbit you want something that's smooth you know if you look at this that's re pretty smooth in a sense if you look at it it's not veering off this way and it's not veering off that way and it's also close enough to the surface to where you're not going to need much if you were to mess up this burn you're not going to need, need much to change that burn so but we don't want to this right here is a collision course so we don't want to crash into the moon we want to orbit the moon so if you look I just adjusted this I did not pull this out because if I were to pull this out even further it would just make it more of a collision course I, you can use this side to adjust prograde and retrograde too so I'm removing if you see watch this I'm removing some of the meters per second per se um, to get a better orbit now if you look at that right here and how much I needed I did not change this much it only dropped maybe 10 or 8 so if you look at that 55 is a really good number to aim for any to get like 55 and I'm gonna tell you guys right now once you get this you get the encounter set up work with your prograde and retrograde these you don't need to touch very much at all as long as your orbit is very circular it, it, you know you got a very good orbit like how this is it where there's not much change you don't need to worry about any of any real super big problems happening um, so you can see our burn is 30 minutes away and I am not gonna wait that long so one thing I'm gonna tell you when you speed up the uh, time when you use the time modifier be very 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 cautious do not use it you know when you got like less than you know six or five minutes to when you're gonna reach your node slow it down as much as you can now I have a very small engine on this ship so I you know it's it's a decent size engine but at the same time I'm not gonna be able to do that burn on the node it's too long of a burn to do it even with the highest powered engines silencio dog be quiet you um so I'm not gonna be doing that burn on the node I'm gonna be doing it before I re reach the node so right now is a very good time to start that burn because I have the difference in time it's you know I'm a little bit off but only by a few seconds and it's gonna change my orbit my orbit will not or my um my escape from Kerbin will not be on this line it's gonna be a little off here and there but that's not a bad thing I can show you how to fix that as well um when it comes down to he doing a burn on this line it's better to do your burn on in this general area to fix it if if it's off which mine will be uh, I want to do this as if I have never actually went to the moon before in a sense so it's better to do your burns here as opposed to here you're gonna need more fuel and you're gonna have to do a very very big correction here than if you're right here because the amount of change between the, like if you do a little tiny burn here it's gonna make a big difference there because you're talking about a massive distance and I have ran out of fuel which because I did not transfer shame on me so this is gonna happen to you guys too running out of fuel is always a thing that is a possibility so my burn is gonna be really crazy now I'm gonna stop it right when I get in an, a good encounter once when this matches up pretty well alright so as you can see I basically 
it almost looks like I have not I will not be reaching the moon or if I do it's at 417 which is very bad that is very far away from the moon um, so what I want to do is somewhere around here set up a little burn and this is where the blue nodes come into play now I can adjust my orbit here and if you look very small amount here will change it to where it's at 184 but I don't want that I want even more so 68 is my number now you go to your nav ball and you find the blue there you go there's the blue so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit here and there because I'm still strapped on time which is unfortunate but I like keeping my videos short so the shorter it is you know the easier it is for you guys to um, watch it because it gets boring to watch a very long video about something um, now this one I do not need to actually uh, burn beforehand it's such a small amount that something like burning ahead isn't really worth it you know it, it's not gonna change it much if I even if I burned a second or two late because you're so far away from the moon that it doesn't really matter that much now this I'm gonna drain down till you know basically almost the bottom and as you can see I just corrected my orbit with the moon well not my orbit but my um my approach so and that might change again too just because so I'm gonna burn even closer or well no, I'm not gonna burn closer I'm gonna speed up so I get even closer when I when you speed up on this part here what I what I just did be very cautious you know how many times I have shot past the moon and gone into orbit around the Sun it is not fun so as you can see it's 132 that's still it's not that bad but I'm gonna cover a little bit more just with this time I have because I'm gonna do basically a burn right around here now once again I will talk about the purple and the blue you know what these do so if I wanted to adjust my orbit in some way if I use the purple here it's gonna change my orbit very drastically where if I would I would not have this really straight orbit I would have a you know it would be kind of a sideways orbit around the moon around the moon but then if I bring that back again um, that also if I bring that back here where were we um, yeah you can see that this thing really changes it a lot so I'm gonna reset this node and this one would increase the orbit so you know if I wanted to be 400 off the moon or 420 um, you would want to do that that would this really works as far as correction this really works really well for correction on your orbits this I would say you're gonna use a lot more when it comes down to docking um, to, to fix things like that you know these will change it um, you know basically so you can have a little bit different orbit so anyways guys thank you for watching you just saw a very successful moon burn and um, there's more to come.